quarters of the Earth's surface. It falls in the form of rain to water the land. It is used to fight fires and wind. It heals, baptizes, and blesses. It cleans our cars, our clothing, our bodies. It is water, a big part of our world, a big part of who we are. As a matter of fact, more than 75% of our bodies are just that, water. And, of course, we're drinking a lot of water, right? Wrong. As society's tastes have changed from adventures with Timmy and Lassie to the nonsensical humor of the Bundy family, so have our habits. And one of those habits, what we drink, has also changed dramatically. Where there used to be few choices, there are until now unheard of conflicts called cola wars. <laughs> And water gets left behind. So you may say, stop crying in your no-calorie, high-caffeine, Nutrisweet-injected cola. It's progress. Just as we thought the phonograph was a grand invention, CD players are now considered the norm. Higher tech is better, especially in today's world. Water's too boring, too simple, too blah. Anyway, what difference does it make? Maybe a big one. Hi, I'm Jennifer Watson. For the next half hour, we're going to talk about water. Specifically, if water has the power to change your life, maybe even save it, what it comes down to is this, drinking eight glasses of water a day. Now, that's something we've all been told to do, but why? Because it's good for us. Well, the answer may be a lot more important than that. We're going to introduce you to some people who have amazing, almost unbelievable stories to tell about drinking water. I was having problems with my legs collapsed and fallen down so I went to the doctor and they told me that you ran some blood tests and they told me that uh, I had signs of muscular dystrophy. But Ed Dupre doesn't have it anymore and he says it's because of water. So I just started drinking the water and in about a week it stopped. What stopped for Sam Laguari was years of angina and hiatal hernia pain and he says the cure is here. Yeah, I've, I've seen it happen. And then, then some of my parishioners, not many, but some of them began to speak to me and to Bob about how they felt the water had helped them. From mentioning it on the altar to seeing it in the doctor's office. At first I was, I was sort of skeptical because, uh, you know, like anyone else, I would say, you know, water, I mean, you know, how's water going to help you out? But Dr. Jose Rivera says it was water that helped him get years of a serious asthma problem under control. Even people that I know uh, would, would tell me, said, boy, Bob, and I said, you won't have to deep end throwing money away in something like this. I was going to say, don't some people think you're crazy? Oh, absolutely. And we'll talk to a man who spent hundreds of thousands of dollars out of his own pocket telling us to drink water. All of these people's stories lead back to this man, Dr. Faradun Batman Gelich. He has spent years researching and writing and has come up with this book. Your body's many cries for water. Dr. Batman, as his followers affectionately call him, says that most people live a life of chronic dehydration and that a lifetime of not enough water catches up with us in the form of disease and allergies. This is just a list of a few of them. Healthcare of America, uh, it's crisis is because the professionals and the public don't know when the human body is thirsty. Once we understand the thirst mechanism of the body, once we understand the crisis cause of the body for water, 60 percent, 65, 70 percent of the healthcare costs will disappear. That's a big claim to make. Is it true? We'll have some first-hand accounts coming up next. How much water would you say you drink? Probably about a glass. One glass of water a day? Yeah. Ed Dupre, an auto parts salesman, didn't drink much water either until his doctor told him he had the beginnings of a serious debilitating disease. I was having problems with my legs, collapsed and falling down. So I went to the doctor and they told me they ran some blood tests. And they told me that uh, I had signs of muscular dystrophy. So I went to another doctor to verify their findings, and he said, 
you got early signs of muscular dystrophy that your muscles are deteriorating. So I'm thinking within two years, you know, they're going to be pushing around in a wheelchair or something. And I just said to myself that I can't let that happen. So Ed started drinking water. He had heard of Dr. Batman's book, so he decided to give it a try. One month later, Ed went back for more tests, but the results had changed. No signs of muscular dystrophy. The doctor was like, he couldn't believe like wh what was happening. He asked if I changed my lifestyle and my habits. I told him, yeah, I said, I started drinking water. I started drinking almost three quarts of water a day. Just kept drinking and drinking and drinking. So then he sent me for more tests. Went for more tests and they came back negative. So he took more blood work and then my muscle enzyme levels went back down to normal. And he's still scratching his head today. Can't figure out what caused this to happen. I believe that the water had a lot, I'd say 100% to do with it. So good. I got it you. Ah! Those words are music to Bob Butts' ears. A year ago, he read Dr. Batman's water book and became convinced of water's power to heal and prevent health problems. So convinced, he has dedicated himself to letting the world know about it. The owner of CK Auto and Music, Bob has taken thousands of dollars from his advertising budget and has used it to buy commercials for water. Dr. Batman Gellidge, famed researcher on the curative powers of water, has written a must-read book, Your Body's Many Cries for Water. You're obsessed with water. When do you, when do you think you'll stop being obsessed? When, uh, when, when this is out and accepted. You have water in there, huh? Yeah, that's water in there. 100% pure. And Bob spends most of his time trying to get the word out on water through his advertising and through telling every single person he meets. You know, I know it's one thing about since I've been drinking water, my hair's coming in thicker. <laughs> what do you want out of yourself for this? I, the thrill of, of, uh, of knowing you've made a difference on somebody else's life. You don't want money? Oh, God, no. I've, I've, it's not that I, I have no interest in it, but I, I will in no way associate with anything that could, could, uh, could get me a dollar. And you know there's going to be people who say, Bob, you're in the auto parts business. I know, I know more, I know as much about, uh, about this side of auto parts. I don't know anything about a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's comforting. We're only going to live so many years, and bingo. And anything that I've, any accomplishments that I've had in terms of, of money can compare with the feeling you get when you have somebody walk into your place with a big smile and say, boy, it's like being 25 or 30 years old again. I feel nice. Someone who knows about feeling young again is Sam Laguari, radio DJ for WARD. With our workshop by phone club, Sam Laguari on WARD, 1550 AM. And I'll tell you what, we have a few more items we're going to go over with you in just a little bit. We put some sod in the, in the backyard last week because we saw our swimming pool. And I'm shoveling dirt and sand out of there. And if I did that five years ago, I'd have so much pain in my chest that I wouldn't be able to stand it. Years of angina and hiatal hernia pain had taken its toll on Sam's life. But nights are cool and I am a fool. Each star of a pool of water. I couldn't sleep in bed. My wife was ready to leave. I mean, I couldn't go to bed. I was sleeping in a re recliner downstairs for all those, all those years, all those nights. But with the dawn, I wake and you're the king. It was hard to come in, and you know, being in broadcasting, you have to get up every morning to come in to work. Being on the air, you have to sound bright and happy all the time, and a lot of times I was in pain, and it was, it was actually uh, making me very nervous. I thought, I'm never going to make it. Hi, good morning. But then, he started drinking eight glasses of water a day. Weren't you skeptical of it first? In the beginning, yeah, when I first started uh, trying... The water, I, I was. I thought, well, what do I have to lose? It's not costing me anything, really, to drink the water. And if this doctor from Virginia is right, then I have a lot to gain. And Sam says what he did gain is his old life back. So I just started drinking the water, and in about a week it stopped. The pain, all the pain stopped in the chest. Would you say water has changed your life? Yeah, yeah, a lot. In the last year, I've never felt so good in my life. I have people coming up to me. As a matter of fact, just last night we were out 
And I met somebody I hadn't seen in about two or three years, and uh, he told me, he says, what are you doing? He says, you look so great. <laughs> and I, I'm 58 years old, and I feel like I'm about 23 again, really. It's just incredible. But shadows play and seem to say, tonight we pray for water. And you people, if I think if our Lord Jesus Christ was living today, he would be telling you all to drink two quarts of water. Monsignor Philip Gray is the pastor at St. Francis Church in Scranton. A priest for 35 years, he has always tried to put a special message in each of his sermons. After he read about drinking water and tried it himself, he had a new message. I shared my bypass surgery, my, my knee replacement, my cardiac arrest. I shared all those kind of things with my parishioners. So they, they knew me inside and out. So I began this one Sunday, I believe, about talking about how I felt or a little pain or something like that and how much better I felt because I was drinking water lately. And that's how it began. The Lord himself was so concerned about our health. What began was a water drinking movement, albeit small, among some of his parishioners. A couple other people said that they just felt better, more energy, less pain, because they were drinking water. I don't know what it does. It clears out the system somehow and makes you feel better. And it makes sense to this priest. His life's work revolves around water in many ways. Within the waters of baptism, Anthony died with Christ and rose with him to new life. And he now shared with him eternal water. There's some scriptural connotations of, of water, flowing waters of, of baptism, waters of cleansing. Uh, as Catholics, every time we enter a church, we put our hand in some holy water, bless ourselves. So maybe the water that baptizes us and blesses us is the same water that heals us on the inside. When we come back, we'll talk to two doctors who will address the issue of drinking water and whether or not it really can help your health. The water doesn't taste all that great. Cola tastes a lot better. I don't drink a lot of coffee in the heat, though, so... I was near a cat and apparently the cat hair created an allergic reaction and my throat completely closed up. And so uh, I basically had had to walk around, you know, many years with epinephrine, you know, in case, you know, my throat would close up. And so this was the way life went for Dr. Jose Rivera for 15 years. Severe asthma and allergies kept him from a normal life, at least normal in the way we see it. But then this family doctor read about water. At first I was, I was sort of skeptical because, uh, you know, like anyone else, I would say, you know, water, I mean, you know, how's water going to help you out? I remember one day uh, I was wheezing real bad and, and uh, I called Dr. Batman Gelly and, and he said, you're wheezing pretty bad. And I said, yes. And he said, well, drink two glasses of water and put a pinch of salt on your tongue. And I said, what? And... And uh, I did, and uh, one of the nurses noticed that I wasn't wheezing as much from the, you know, after I drank the water and put the salt. So I called him back and I said, hey, this crazy thing works. And from then on, Dr. Rivera controlled his asthma with water and salt. Yes, salt. Adding it to your diet may sound radical, but Rivera says salt is not the enemy. Contrary to what we've been telling everyone, you know, if you have hypertension, if you have renal disease, if you have cardiovascular disease, if you have diabetes, watch your salt intake. And that's true, but the problem was, guess what? All these people don't drink water. Salt is a good thing, as long as we balance it, you know, with the proper intake of water. So then, Dr. Rivera started checking to see how much water his patients drank. They, the average person drinks one glass of water a day. The reasons people gave? It didn't taste as good as the other sweeter options. Sodas, teas, coffees, juices. Have you ever noticed that when uh, on television or, in, or an accident, an ambulance, you know, when somebody gets hurt, what is the first thing they give them? They give them an, an IV. And what do they hang up? A bag of saline. And what is saline? Salt and water. 
the main structure of our body is cells. And the cells do need water. They need to exchange nutrients. They need to exchange minerals. So if you deplete the basic structure of the body, which are cells, from water, then basically disease can take over, and then they can't function properly, and then the body tries to adapt because it doesn't have this, this, this essential source, which is water. It was here in Dr. Batman Gelage's Virginia home that Dr. Rivera and some colleagues met him and talked about water. They have to understand they cannot replace water with other fluids. Dr. Faradun Batman Gelage is the man behind this theory. It all started years ago in his homeland of Iran. It was the time of the revolution, and he was in jail as a political prisoner, slated to be shot. As a doctor, he was made to care for the other prisoners, but he had no medicines to give, only water. And that was exactly what he gave a fellow prisoner one night when he was doubled up in pain from an ulcer. And miraculously, the pain went away. When I discovered the pain relieving property of water, I started doing research. You used the water to treat other prisoners? I treated 3,000 peptic ulcer cases in two years and seven months that I was in prison. When the doctor presented this information at his trial, he was pardoned and allowed to live to continue his research. What has resulted from his life's work is this book, Your Body's Many Cries for Water. Thousands have read the book and written Batman Gelich with their results and thanks. People 90 years old, people 70 years old and so on have completely been recovered from angina pain uh, with just increasing their regular water intake. Batman Gelich says most degenerative diseases and allergies can be prevented, helped, even cured with water. We take the wrong fluids. We drink coffee, we drink tea, we drink alcohol. These are all dehydrating beverages and they draw water out, outside the, uh, from the cells and they create a total chaos in the system. Batman Gelich says it is also a lack of water that causes most people to be overweight. We associate hunger and thirst as the same sensation and we assume it to be hunger and we overeat. The key to not overeating? Drinking enough water and staying completely away from caffeinated drinks. Batman Gelich says then you'll be able to separate being hungry from thirsty and you won't overeat. There are those in the medical community who probably think you're a bit radical. I didn't create water. I don't sell water. I have no motives other than advancement of science and bringing health back to people. What is radical in that? Evidently plenty to a lot of people. You would think if this information is true, the medical officials across the country would be jumping at it, right? Wrong. When we come back, we'll tell you why. Dear Dr. Batman Gelich, Jeremy is my... My 10-year-old son Aaron had allergies and asthma and was on five different medications until he started drinking water. Within blood one pressure dropped from 160 over 98 to an amazing drug-free 130 over 75. I am 90 years old and have angina. When I get an attack of angina, I rest and drink water. I don't... The program water. reduced the frequency of asthma and allergy-related problems. Any medication for asthma. And I've lost 35 pounds. Despite the hundreds of letters full of personal testimonials, Dr. Batman Gelich has not had much luck getting our country's leading medical institutions, like the National Institutes of Health and the American Medical Association, to support him or his findings. Why don't you think the NIH and the AMA listen to you? because it would mean eventually the shrinkage of their existence. We spoke to several medical professionals who wouldn't go on camera. They said while they'll agree that drinking water is beneficial, they don't think it's a cure-all. And what Batman Gelich must do to get the recognition of the medical community 
is clinical, controlled studies to prove it. Studies that need lots of funding. Funding that is hard to come by when people don't agree with your ideas. The issue is, how do you convince someone that's been through four years of college, four years of medical school, three or four years of residency, and he's never been told that, hey, you know, the main constituent of, of, of your body is water, and that water can alleviate and in some cases cure certain diseases uh, and even prevent some. Um, I mean, wouldn't that make you skeptical? It made me skeptical. Put people just to drink water for three or four months, do a control study, and you would be amazed at how better people would feel. Disease can do some horrible things to people's body, and I think water can help. Is it a total answer? I don't know. And, and I really don't know that. Has it helped people? Yes. There is, there is no magic. It's common sense. It's just understanding the role of water in the human body. Period. Maybe it is that simple. Maybe not. But the one thing all the people we talked to had in common is that before they felt better, they drank maybe one to two glasses of water a day. The rest was coffee, tea, juice, and soda. Now they drink water and they say they feel great. Is it all in their heads or is there something to this? Batman Gelage's program is simply this. Drink eight eight-ounce glasses of plain old water a day straight from the tap if you want and add a little bit of salt to your diet. Anything containing caffeine, such as coffee, tea, or soft drinks, only dehydrates us more. If you drink them, don't count them as part of the daily allowance. Batman recommends one glass of water a half hour before meals, another glass two and a half hours afterwards. He says this is the minimum amount of water our bodies need. Sounds unusual, but simple. And many people say they have found their health solution in the simple. Dr. Batman Gallage does say you should make sure your input matches your output. Basically, that your kidneys are working fine. Of course, check with your doctor before you make any changes. I take a uh, hypertension pill once a day, mm -hmm. and I see my doctor. It's not like, uh, you know, I don't go to the doctor anymore, but I feel 100% better that, mm -hmm. than I ever felt before. I have more energy. I couldn't even stand on my feet before. And now it's like... I just keep on going. I feel like you have a ready battery. The energizer. <laughs> Maybe the water helps me some way. I don't know. If it, even, even if it's psychological, let's face it, it helps. For something of this nature to be recognized, you know, you have to pretty much pay your dues. And I think that if water is going to win out, it has to pay its dues. So there you have it. You've heard from people who say drinking water has changed their lives. Does it have the power to change yours? Maybe. Maybe not. But there's only one way to find out. After all, it's only your future we're talking about. I'm Jennifer Watson, reporting.